Okay. Thank you everyone for joining. My name is Janet Wolf and we're gonna be doing a training today on Aruba. We're gonna get certified in Aruba. So uh, let's go take a look at this amazingly beautiful island. Um, what we're gonna to do today is the Aruba Certified Expert, the ACE program. And this is through the Travel Agent Academy. So you type travelagentacademy.com. Um, it brings you up to your main page. You can click course catalog and then um, all certifications, and then you can search through there and find Aruba. So let's get started. My first live event doing it, um, doing a certification for a country. So I'm excited to do this and uh, just bear with me if, <laughs> if I hit any hiccups along the way. All right, chapter one. And I definitely appreciate any feedback so you can take your, um, you can unmute yourself and we can kind of talk this through as we go um, so that we can, uh, so that we can pass this. Oh, okay. Um, so you're, you're going to help us, go, are you going to help us register or no? Um, I wasn't planning on doing the registration. I was just going to do the certification for it. Um, but it's being recorded, so um, you can watch along if you'd like and take notes and then go back and do the certification yourself after you get registered. I'm just not sure how long the registration is going to take, and I only have an hour or so for the for the, the training, so I just want to make sure that I get this in. Oh, okay. Um, all right, so chapter one, the Bonvini. Welcome to Aruba. One happy island. In this course, you'll discover that the attractions Aruba is most famous for is its white sand beaches, cooling trade winds, and warm, friendly people are just a few of the reasons why we enjoy one of Caribbean's highest rated, uh, one of Caribbean's highest rates of return visitors. Welcome to Aruba, where people and nature greet you with open arms. Bon to one happy island. Welcome to countless natural wonders, pristine beaches, and a variety of ways to play a part in Aruba's endless bounty. Whether a retreat, a reunion, or the start of a new promise, the island celebrates with you. Absorb our unique and rich history our colorful culture and Mother Nature's gifts. Above all, feel welcome. Welcome to perfectly predictable weather in an ideal spot on the outside fringes of the hurricane zone. Explore for days and see nature in all its diversity. Visit the Idacock National Park and its rugged and beautiful landscape. Sample the freshest fish with local side dishes served with an Aruban smile. Roam the island freely and picture an array of world-class resorts on miles of white sandy beaches. Be it for a day, a week, or longer, numerous delights are never far away on this cozy island. Wind down at sunset or keep exploring into the evening hours. Browse our very own local products derived from Aruba's aloe and dine on local and international award-winning cuisine. Make it a casual get-together with our very own Balashi beer or share a dance with Lady Luck in one of many vibrant casinos. As the sun sets, the island prepares for tomorrow. Your next happy day on One Happy Island. Okay, I want to go to Aruba now. Right? <laughs> My God. Go everywhere, though. So that's the problem. <laughs> All right, so the location um, Aruba is a happy Dutch Caribbean island in the Southern Caribbean. 
uh, its unique desert terrain and sandy shores appealing to a broad array, broad array of vacationers. Miles of beaches that have been that have been named some of the best in the world are found on the south and west coasts. The weather averages about 82 degrees with constant cooling trade winds. Aruba has more sunny days than any other Caribbean island and is located just outside the hurricane belt. Unlike other Caribbean islands, our climate is dry and rainy days are not a common occurrence. The size of Aruba is just 19.6 miles long and six miles across with a total area of seven, 70 square miles. It doesn't seem that big. No, it doesn't. Like I thought it was much larger. So the capital, oh my gosh, I can't say this. Orange stayed. Aruba's busy, bustling Harbor City is a dynamic blend of luxury retailers, unique local boutiques, colorful Dutch colonial architecture and restored landmark buildings like the iconic green sed seducious housing, <laughs> the city hall where legal marriages are performed. Complimentary solar and electric powered streetcars meander through the streets with a hop on hop off option as at various points of interest, including several museums and galleries to explore. The downtown culinary scene offers international, regional and local fare in both casual and fine dining settings accommodation centers. Most of Aruba's hotels and resorts can be found along Eagle Beach and Palm Beach. Population of Aruba is truly a multicultural destination with an exceptionally diverse population of more than 90 nationalities among nearly 108,000 residents. This diversity is beautifully represented in our rich history, culture, and culinary scene highlighted by the warm island hospitality. The language, Dutch and pump, pap, I don't even know how to say that, <laughs> are Aruba's official languages, but most Arubians speak at least four languages, including English and Spanish. So it's highly unlikely that English speaking clients will encounter language barriers during their stay there. All right, let's look at the welcome. <laughs> In our local language, Papiamento, Bombini means welcome. You'll hear this word a lot in Aruba. At the airport, Bombini. At restaurants and hotels, Bombini. Strolling, snorkeling, hiking, Bombini. Bombini to Aruba. We're getting a language lesson. In our local language, Papiamento, Bon Dia means good morning. With Aruba's picture-perfect weather, you can greet every day with Bon Dia. Monday, Bon Dia. Tuesday, Bon Dia. Wednesday, Bon Dia. In our local language, Papiamento, Mi Tastimabo means I love you. When you're here in Aruba, with your sweetie, watching our beautiful sunset, you can say, Itastimabo. They'll know exactly what you mean. <laughs> in our local language, Papiamento, Cerves Frio means cold beer. So, when you're chilling at the beach, taking in the warm Aruban sun, feeling the Aruban vibe, and you get a little bit thirsty, grab a cerveza frio. I bet the cerveza frio sounds good right about now, huh? I think that one might become a uh, staple in my language down there. In our local language, Papiamento, Dushi Vida means sweet life. So when you're here relaxing, chilling, having a good time, you live in a douche vida. Sounds like something more than a sweet life. <laughs> in our local language, papiamento, by poco poco means take it easy. So when you land in sunny Aruba, put on your flip-flops, put on your shades, 
and bye poco poco. I like that little uh, language lesson. Ooh, pop quiz. I hope you guys are ready to answer this for me. Uh, what is that? Okay. I'm thinking Aranjastad and um, Palm Beach. I think it's Eagle Beach and Palm Beach, I think. Is it? Eagle Beach and Palm Beach. Uh, yes, for the hotels and yes. the sports. Let's see. Yay. I think the other town you mentioned was their capital or something, wasn't it? That's right. That's right. Well, orange, <laughs> and orange where something. the airport's at. Yeah. Right. Yep. All right. For currency, the official currency of Aruba is the Arubian Florin. The exchange rate for US dollars is one is a dollar seventy-seven for cash and a dollar seventy-eight for traveler checks, if I'm saying that. Um, they're accepted everywhere on the island. There's no real need to exchange currency. Currency with Canadian visitors. Canadian visitors can exchange their dollars for either ruby and florin or the U.S. dollars on land. It is highly recommended that Canadian money be converted to U.S. dollars before arriving to Aruba for the most favorable exchange rate. Banks are generally open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Travelers with ATM cards with a serious Mac, uh, MasterCard, Mastreo, or Visa logo with cash withdrawal at more than 50 locations throughout the island. Cell phones will work in Aruba, but visitors are urged to contact their local service provider about roaming charges prior to traveling to Aruba. Cellular phones can also be rented in the airport's arrival terminal. Wi-Fi is available in public spaces at hotels and rooms. Um, of most hotels, as well as many hot spots throughout the island. The drinking water in Aruba meets the highest quality of the World Health Organization, and Aruba is home to one of the world's large, largest distillation facilities, so fresh water flows directly from the tap. That's good to know. That is good to know. <laughs> yes. Um, medical facilities. Aruba is well equipped to assist visitors in the event that they're seeking medical assistance. It is recommended that guests first contact their hotel front desk for a doctor on call or be directed to the appropriate physician or the emergency room at the hospital, conveniently located a short distance from the hotel. Pharmacies. Conveniently located throughout the island. It's important for visitors to bring their own prescriptions, but if they need a pharmacy, there is always one tw open 24-7 at their local hotel, um, and the local hotel can provide them with that information. All right, select the correct answer. American dollars or are accepted blank on Aruba, only in the bank, only at certain Everywhere. Stores. Everywhere, yes. And most Arubians speak four different languages, including English, Yes, Nothing in, but Spanish. in Spanish. Um, in yeah. Spanish. They, well, they speak four different languages, including English, right? Correct. Yes, including, they, she said four different, but English and Spanish. Yes. You know, yeah. that was the most, I guess, flat ones, I don't know. The two most popular. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, let's take our exam. All right, Aruba's beaches have been named some of the best in the world. True. True. That's what I would say too. Aruba's located outside of the hurricane belt. True. Yeah. Never hear of Aruba getting hit with a hurricane. Uh, with a total area of blank, it's easy to visit Aruba's many attractions. Yes. Was it 70? I think it was 70. 70. Yes, 70. Aruba's capital is that. Aranjastad. <laughs> that one I couldn't. That send. one. Yeah, that one there. <laughs> <laughs> the O one. <laughs> the orange one. Yes, Aruba exactly. is a multicultural destination with more than ninety nationalities on uh, on island. That's true, right? I think I remember true. What was it? 
Aruba is a multicultural destination with more than 90 nationalities on island. Yes, I think that they said that. Yes. Yeah. Woohoo. Good job. Maybe I can close my window. All right, past chapter one. And chapter two. Oops. Doesn't want to work. Chapter two, getting to and around Aruba. Getting to Aruba. Getting to Aruba couldn't be easier. Uh, easier. I'm talking my boss. Easier. Are you know? from Boston <laughs> Aruba's Queen Beatrice International Airport is serviced by all major U.S. scheduled airlines with nonstop services from over 20 different gateways, with many offering daily services. For regularly updated flight schedules to Aruba, please visit the uh, Airport Aruba website and see the link. I guess let's see. All right, so these are well, most of the major cities. Boston, New York, Newark. Oh, they got Boston twice. Philadelphia, Washington, Chicago, Charlotte, Atlanta, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, Houston, Dallas, Orlando, and Minneapolis. And then carriers are American Delta, JetBlue, Southwest, Spirit, United, and, and Sun Country. Country. And service from Canada, Air Canada, Sunwig, WestJet. Go on. Right. Do we want to look at the airport? I took us to a different. Net. Oh, you know, I think that's the actual website for the airport. Yeah. Sorry. I think I just got out of it. Sorry about that. Oh, I know. Continue, please. So I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm liking Aruba already. What's not to like? I know, huh? <laughs> what did I not click on? Oh, the destination guide. Do I have to click on this anyways? And... I did. Didn't I? Didn't I click on everything? Click on that. Uh, well, maybe I didn't. All right, there we go. All right, getting around Aruba is Aruba is easy with a wider range of transportation options available. So you get your airport transfers. Most tour wholesalers and charter operators include round trip airport transfers to their packages. If airport hotel airport transfers are not included, visitors have a variety of options that can be purchased at the airport, and taxis are always available outside the arrival hall. Then there's taxis. They're readily available throughout Aruba for trip to and from shopping, restaurants, and other venues. Rates are established by the government and are based on destination rather than distance or time traveled. Taxi fare rates are per trip and are priced per taxi and not per person. Good to know. Car rentals. Uh, for visitors who are renting a car, Aruba offers a wider range of auto rentals. Most of the major car rental companies have rental offices on property at the airport, but cars can often be rented at hotels as well. That's kind of good to know. For an off-road adventure, suggest your clients rent a four-wheel vehicle. Driving is on the right side of the road, the same as in, the nor as in North America. The road signs in the Aruba are different than those in the U.S. and Canada, but are marked in both English and Dutch. And then the bus service. There's reliable daily bus service from Aruba area hotels to and from downtown provided by our bus. Daily and weekly passes are available for purchase. All right. Bus service is available between the capital and area hotels on a blank basis. Daily at least, right? Half hour? You guys still there? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm thinking though. 
Yeah. I don't want to get the wrong one. Oh, this is just a little quiz, so I'm going to go with half hour. We'll go with half hour and see. Yeah, I think it is. It would be like multiple multiple times a day. Right, because of the amount of airlines coming in and out. Yeah. Right. Um, Cab fares are based on blank rather than by distance and meter. The time traveled, number of passengers multiplied by time traveled or the destination. Destination. <sighs> Which one's wrong? This one maybe? Daily? It's the bus. It's daily, not half hour. Gotcha. Thank you. I had to go back and oh, fix it. right. Thank you. See? This is why we do this together. All right, Aruba is serviced by all major U.S. scheduled airlines with nonstop service from gateways throughout the U.S. with many offering daily service. That's true, right? True. Yeah. Okay. we said? Yes. That's true. Where are taxis available? The airport, downtown, most hotels, all of the above. All of the above. Most of the major car rental companies have offices at the airport and can often be rented at the hotels. Not true. No. true? Yes. Just double checking. <laughs> Yay. 100. We're awesome. It it's an update me up. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. Chapter three. And there's so many of my friends that go to Aruba. I need to go visit there now. <laughs> Aruba visitor profiles and target markets. Aruba visitor. Aruba tracks over 1 million stayover visitors each year. The majority of visitors are between the ages of 25 and 59. The following statistics, along with samples of our advertising, promotional, and public relations efforts on a regional and national level will help you identify and target clients for Aruba from within your market. All right, let's look at the U.S. visitor profile. In 2019, U.S. visitors to Aruba totaled 838,288. The average length of stay is seven days. Resorts remain the most popular types of accommodation for U.S. visitors, along with a variety of timeshare properties, private homes, and apartments. The island's mix of luxury high-rise and casual low-rise resorts is one of the most compelling features for return visitors. For Canadian visitors, in 2019, more than 52,000 Canadians visited Aruba. The vast majority come from the province of Ontario, where nonstop flights to Aruba originate year-round. Montreal has benefited from seasonal weather charter flights over the past few years and is showing increased growth. Average length of stay is over seven nights. Canadian visitors overwhelmingly favor Aruba's all-inclusive resort. Primary target markets. Again, adult ranges from the age of 25 to 54. The minimum average household income of 150,000. Repeat travelers to the Caribbean. First time visitor to Aruba with the hopes that they become repeat customers for you and for Aruba. Characteristics of visitors. The travel, traveler looking to come to Aruba is more than just a sun, sand, and sea seeker. They enjoy cultural exploration and discovery. The Aruba effect of creating enduring memories of authentic experiences and meeting new local friends. Wellness opportunities to connect with nature, as well as reconnecting and balancing of mind, body, and spirit. Adventure and adrenal, adrenaline seekers pursuing a wide variety of activities and sports. That was fast. That was fast. 
The majority of visitors to Aruba are between the ages of 18 and 45, 25 and 59, 37 and 75. 25 and 59. Which of the following relate relates to US visitor profile? The average length of stay is seven days. The most popular accommodations is resorts or all of the above. All of the above. <laughs> Which of the following relate relates to Canadian visitor profiles? In 2019, more than 52,000 Canadians visited Aruba. The vast majority originated from the province of Ontario. The average length of stay is over seven nights. Canadians overwhelmingly favor all-inclusive resorts. That is Aruba's primary target markets are first time Aruba visitors, repeat Caribbean visitors, adults ages 25 to 54 with a minimum average household income of 150,000. I think that's true. I think so too. I think so too. Woohoo. Oh, awesome. All right. Did you update me? Yes, you did. Chapter four, accommodation. I want to look at the things to do. I'm getting excited about that one. Right? <laughs> my parents go and uh, my dad loves going horseback riding on the beaches. All right, accommodation. Excuse me, just for a second. Yep. Now, will somebody, can I get somebody like later to help me um, register? Because there's things on there I don't know what to put on there. So, absolutely. When we're done, um, I, I can chat with you how to, how to get okay. certified. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Accommodations. Now that you have learned some of the basic facts of, on Aruba, it's time to get acquainted with the array of accommodations available on our one happy island. From relaxing resorts to bustling hotels and casinos, Aruba has welcoming accommodations for everyone and every budget. Aruba offers hotels and resorts, private homes and villas, apartments and condos, and all-inclusive options that make every guest feel welcome. While Aruba has a wider range of properties to choose from, they are generally found in one of two areas, which we refer to as either low-rise resorts, known as the Eagle Beach area, or high-rise resorts known as the Palm Beach area. Eagle is low and Palm Beach is high. Okay. All right, let's look at high-rise resorts in the Palm Beach area. The high-rise resort area is known as, as a more active area for both daytime and nighttime activities. Restaurants, nightclubs, boutiques, movie theaters are all just steps away from most hotels in this area. These are the different hotels. I'm not sure if they're going to bring up links. Yeah, they are. Hoping they wouldn't do that. All right. These are the different hotels. I'm not going to click on every single one of them, though. What? What? Huh? What? <laughs> do you want me to? Um, no. <laughs> like, do you want me to? Not um, really. <laughs> low rise resorts in the Eagle Beach area. These smaller resorts are mostly two-story in a quieter, more laid back. Yeah, I don't see anything. Huh? I don't see the, the, did you do the, uh, where you could see the hotels or no? I didn't. I, you know, because it opens up a, a separate window. It just brings you to oh, their, um, oh, okay. their website. Okay. Yeah, it's just, it's just a link to their website to go, to go book. Okay. I'm um, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So the Eagle Beach area offers um, more a quieter, more laid back setting, and it's just five minutes by car from both downtown and Palm Beach. Um, the Alhambra Casino and nearby shopping mall provide entertainment and restaurant options as well as meeting facilities. So again, here's more hotels, which gives you an idea, I guess, of just which different hotels are there. Let's look at the capital. These are the hotels in the capital, which we're not going to say. Like Voldemort, we're not going to say the name. And then um, other accommodations. So you get your apartments and condos, your private villas, timeshares, um, things like that. Aruba has well over 30 accommodations to choose from. Yes. 
Yes. Yep. Which of the following accommodation options are available in Aruba? We can check all that apply. We've got apartments and condos, overwater uh, bungalows, which I don't think they do, hotels and resorts, private homes and villas, all inclusive options. All inclusive options. Do we agree with all of those? I clicked the apartments and condos. Yes. The hotels. All and inclusive. Everything but the overwater bungalows. Yeah, I don't remember hearing that. Yeah. I didn't hear that either. Oh, you did not select the correct response. Low rise okay. resorts are concentrated in which two major locations? Oh, Eagle Beach, Eagle Peak, and Palm, and Palm, and Palm, but they have it as Drew Beach, which is also in Palm. Um, higher and lower. <laughs> yeah, <what> I mean. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Last question: High rise resorts are concentrated in which location? Palm. That was in Palm. We didn't pass. Oh no. Now, everybody's taking it at the same time as you are, so I'll be the only one that didn't. So I'll do it later, right? <laughs> You'll do it right and pass it the first time. <laughs> Maybe it's not 30 accommodations to choose from. It is. The only one that we missed was the overwater bungalow. The, do they offer them, though? Uh, that's that's what the quiz said. I had a, When I retook and I selected it, it said that I got 100 once I selected the overwater bungalow. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I don't even it didn't say it. it. If it did, we're all we none of us can. I hear. didn't hear it. <laughs> I, I didn't hear it either. Yeah. Uh, high rise resorts are concentrated in Palm Beach, right? All right. Yeah, I don't remember them saying that, but right. we'll go with it. Right. <laughs> And that's it. That's the whole thing. Nope. I got um we've yeah. got three more chapters. Yeah. Oh, okay. Five, six, and seven. Okay. It's loading my well, it's five, six, and then Aruba romance. Oh, okay. All right, chapter five, things to do. Here we go. Aruba is best known for its beautiful white powder sand beaches and plethora of water activities, but be sure to let your clients know about Aruba's wealth of fun activities and attractions beyond our shores. Our happy island is full of adventurous land activities, historical and natural attractions, museums and cultural experiences, as well as exotic local dishes waiting to be discovered. You'll find more details and resources in the niche specialty spotlights in chapter six. Aruba's turquoise waters offer a full array of options for those looking for fun on or under the blue Caribbean Sea, ranging from sailing, scuba diving, snorkeling, sea, deep sea fishing, surfing, kite surfing, paddle boarding, and even parasailing. There's a mecca of water sports activities to choose from. Let's look at scuba diving. Known as the wreck diving capital of the Caribbean, Aruba's entire south coast is a coral reef with over 20 dive sites and nine diver friendly wrecks, such as a plane, a tugboat, a cement cargo ship, war and historic vessels sunk by destiny or design. Dive operators offer ex expert instructions and are either PADI or NA NAUI certified dive centers. And then there's more information to click on it, which Knowing me, it would open up another window. Deep sea fishing. Aruba is a haven for deep sea fishing with about 18 sport fishing charter companies offering adrenaline rushing half day and full day excursions. They troll the waters five to seven miles offshore for game fish such as mahi mahi, bonito, dorado, amberjack, black and yellow fin tuna, barracuda, sailfish, kingfish, and blue marlin. Bottom fishing is done in shallower waters of 100 to 300 feet deep, with the engine stopped, drifting over spots known to have concentrations of fish such as snapper, grouper, and triggerfish. 
<laughs> windsurfing or kite surfing. Known as one of the best locations to learn the sports of windsurfing and kite surfing, Aruba's flat water locations, ex um, extensive shallow and constant trade winds make Aruba a windsurfer and kite surfer's paradise. Aruba hosts international competitions in the summer on a yearly basis. Surfing paddleboarding. Wariru is a great spot for wave sports such as bodyboarding and surfing. Further on, Dos Playa has faster, more powerful, and hollow waves. Both of these, both of these spots, waves break over sand instead of coral. And Durubi and Boca Grande also rank high with sport enthusiasts. Araji Beach on the on the leeward side uh, on the way to the California Lighthouse and Nanki Reef directly in front of Rogers Beach in Surio, Colorado have dream swelling swells during the winter months. Stand up paddle boarding is a fun and easy way for everyone to play on the water. You don't need to have be a surfer to learn. Underwater tours. Clients can take an exciting voyage of 130 feet below the Caribbean Sea with Atlantis submarines. They will enjoy viewing the remains of two shipwrecks, spectacular coral reefs, and an abundance of colorful sea life. Another option, the Seaward Explorer semi-submarine, remains above sea level at all times, while its hull, which is which sits five feet below the surface, provides spectacular viewing of the Azari coral reef's abundant sea life and largest shipwreck in the Caribbean, the World War II German freighter Antilia. Beaches. Aruba's beaches have the perfect natural element for any kind of beach lover. Its geographical contrasts allow you to choose total relaxation on stretches of soft white sands on the west and southern sides. Explore hidden beaches and secret coves on the east side, the windward coast, and challenge the waters at beaches situated on the north side of the island. All beaches in Aruba are public access beaches. Caution should be exercised as there are no lifeguards as is customary in the US and Canada. I did read all these. Oh, do I have to? Oh, look at that, we get to click on them, okay. And looked it up for the four um, for the four um, languages. One of them is Dutch, and the other one I couldn't say the name of it. it starts with a P. I think that's their native language. Mm. When we were doing the um, the language lesson in the beginning, they, they I think it's that. Um, okay, beaches on the west coast. The seven mile strip of beaches along the west. Coast highlights those powdery white and soft sands and clear turquoise waters that have earned Aruba's top accolades, including the Condé Nast Traveler's number one ranked for best beach for best island for beaches in the world. Most of Aruba's resorts are located on Eagle Beach and Palm Beach. Eagle Beach is characterized by silky white sands that stretch for miles and is a notable nesting site for endangered sea turtles while Palm Beach offers a lively collection of beach bars and restaurants and a bevy of water sports to enjoy. Fisherman's Hut, also known as Hadoukery Beach, is one of the most popular windsurfing and kiteboarding playgrounds in the world. Several water sports operation, operators are set up on the beach, providing both instruction and equipment rental. The calm, shallow, flat waters are also great for trying the latest board craze. So, Stand up paddle boarding. That's what SUP stands for. Oh. Look at the Windward Coast. In contrast, the beaches along the Windward Coast are in more secluded and undeveloped areas. There are coves carved out of limestone, inlets formed by pounding waves, unique natural phenomena, and craggy desert terrain. Both coasts offer spectacular Caribbean views. You've got references. There's links here to all the beaches. You can click on the different beaches. Of course, it'll probably open up another window for me. Oh, and then there's a video. Let's watch the little video. Eagle Beach.
Is it showing a video? I don't see it. Yeah. It's showing a video of the different beaches. Those are beautiful. Island Tour Adventures. Whatever vehicle they choose or on foot on a hiking adventure, Visitors can enjoy spectacular views of the scenic des desert, rock formations, and amazing coasts, and enjoy unforgettable local experiences. Aruba on Wheels. Be sure to recommend that your client uncover the hidden beauty that's found on the island's back roads. UTVs and ATVs are no longer allowed in the Arioc National Park. A Jeep is the best way to explore this part of the island. This is a great way to navigate the island in a single day without a map. Horseback. These tours of the island range from scenic hills to the desert-like plains. Aruba's topography offers a variety of exotic locations that will delight adventurers, adventurous visitors and make everyone feel like the star of their own Western motion picture. Riding experience is not required, but suntan lotion is recommended. We have several tour companies that do offer horseback riding tours of the island. And mountain biking. There's no better way to see the countryside firsthand than mountain biking. Trails lead up the Alta Vista Chapel and all along the rugged Northeast coast. The weather is generally hot and sunny, but cyclists will appreciate Aruba's cooling, cooling trade winds. Casinos and nightlife. While most hotels have their own casinos or special in-house entertainment, there's plenty of nightlife to cater to a variety of interests and local atmospheres uh, full of excitement. Aruba's nightlife offers a wide range of activities from a quiet dinner on the beach to listening to a local band in one of the many piers along Palm Beach. Aruba has something for everyone. It's important to note that while the legal drinking age is 18, some nightclubs cater to the 21 and over age group. Make sure your clients find out if there are any restrictions before heading out on the town for the night. For shopping, Aruba has a variety of shopping districts featuring a wide range of selections such as jewelry, table linens, perfumes, leather goods, designer fashions, electronics, locally made hand, handicrafts, Cuban cigars, Dutch Delft, Dutch cheeses, and many other goods. All right, match each Aruba attraction with a feature of each. All right, uh, from designer fashions to handicrafts and Dutch deft. That's the shopping. Including range of quiet retreats, sunbathing and water sport meccas. Beaches? Yeah, beaches. Available at most hotels and various local spots. Um, nightlife or? Yeah, the casino and nightlife. Yeah, the casino and nightlife and stuff. And then the last one is sailing, scuba diving, fishing, kiting, surfing, and water. House. Those are the water sports. Yeah, water sports. All right, final exam. Much of the seven mile strip along the West Coast is lined with resorts packed with water sport activities. True. True. Which of the following are features of beaches on the windward coast? Located in more secluded and underdeveloped areas, coves carved out of limestone, unique natural phenomena, craggy desert terrain, or all of the above? All of the above. above. All nightclubs cater to patrons 18 and up. Yes, true. Yes. Aruba has a variety of shopping districts featuring a whole, a wide range of selections. True. Yeah. What? This <laughs> must be true, right? 
because it's on the on the palm side, not on the eagle side. Right? Ver Let's do this again. All right, much of the seven mile strip along the West Coast is lined with resorts and packed with water sport activities. Is that on the West Coast or the East Coast? West Coast, right? West Coast, I thought. Yeah, the, wait a minute. West Coast, East Coast. Okay, the wind word is the one that is um, secluded. So which side is that? Is that West or East? I don't remember. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to look it up. <laughs> okay. So windward would probably be the East Coast. Okay. Because the tra don't the trade winds come from the East? That makes sense. Yes, that does make sense. Okay. Maybe it's the... All right, which of the following features of beaches on this was all of them. Okay, there's two parts of the East Coast of Aruba. Let me see what it says. Maybe it's um, the nightclubs. Maybe they don't, not all nightclubs cater to 18 and up. Maybe. Didn't they oh, have did some say, that were just 21 and up? Yeah, they said sure. Right, and they said uh, it depend on um, the rules and regulations you should ask or something it said. So 18 yeah. and up can drink, but only the 21 and up can get into the nightlife. I took okay. screenshots just to be okay. safe. That's what I was thinking. Yes. And Aruba has a variety of shopping. There we go. That's what it was. The nightclubs. I'm still looking for that east side, east thing. <laughs> All right. Chapter. The natural part, a national part that was on the east side. And then one part of this two part thing. Okay. Hmm. Heavenly experience. It doesn't say right there. All right, I'm going to continue on with the last chapter, chapter hey. six, the Aruba niche specialties. Niche specialties. The following niche specialty spotlights will assist you and communicate Aruba's attractions for six key special interests, adventure, romance, culture, wellness, culinary, and family. Do you have to click on these? I guess not. All right. So let's take a look at the first one. that look like a video catering to weddings. Romance. Aruba is a romantic island filled with warmth and love, perfect for couples to disconnect from the world and reconnect with each other. Aruba is the perfect place to rekindle romance, celebrate an anniversary, pop the question, enjoy a Caribbean honeymoon, or even get married. A romance niche encompasses destination weddings, honeymoons, vow renewals, proposals, and bachelor or bachelorette parties. Sounds like our presentation. Oh. True. <laughs> <laughs> for weddings, Aruba is the perfect paradise for your dream destination beach wedding. Our happy island sits in the crystal blue waters of the South Caribbean below the hurricane belt and is home to and is home to year-round 82 degree weather. So you're almost guaranteed a perfect day. Aruba is also home to world-class wedding professionals who can help you with all of the details of your Aruba wedding. One happy honeymoon program. 
This program is aimed at honeymoon couples who stay at a participating hotel or resort where they will receive a number of special perks during their stay. Preferred check-in service, special gifts, free night when they return for their first anniversary with a five night stay, number of additional offers providing discounts on activities and attractions. I think I would go to Ruben and just say that I'm on my honeymoon. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right, just so. What do, what do they know? For family, <laughs> our family niche focuses on the most important members, the kids. Kids love exploring our island. It's undersea life and making a splash. Parents love how easy, safe, and fun it is to vacation in Aruba. De Palm Island. On a day trip to De Palm Island, an all-inclusive private island, visitors can enjoy lunch buffet, open bar, snack corner, snorkel equipment, banana boat rides, water park, beach volleyball, beach lounge chairs, salsa lessons, table tennis, and basketball. For an additional charge, they can opt to participate in a Sea Trek underwater helmet walk or a snuba. I don't know if that was a misprint and they meant to say scuba. <laughs> One happy program. This program is aimed at families who stay at participating hotel or resort. When sharing the same room with one, or, with one or two paying adults, children 12 and under stay free and enjoy free daily breakfast at the designated hotel restaurant. Upon check-in, children receive a free gift. They also receive a very important kid passport, a VIC, a fun booklet filled with quizzes, puzzles, and questions that can be answered when visiting seven featured signature locations on the island. When a minimum of four locations have been visited and those portions of the passport completed, the registration page in the booklet can be returned to the front desk to enter a raffle for a one week returned vacation to Aruba, including four airline tickets. The selection is done at random in the end of summer and during the month of December. Nice. I know, huh? <laughs> Aruba's one happy honeymoon and one happy family programs are packed with value added extras are free and available year round. True. True. Oh. That's correct. What's up guys? I'm Nelson from Aruba. We're Mike and Tara from Florida. And this is how we do adventure in Aruba. Go. This is adventure time. Absolutely epic. Sunrise high down to this beautiful view. The hidden gems of Aruba. You get out and explore. This is awesome. I want to go there. I'm in a train. Let's go to Aruba. Let's go to Aruba. Yes, please. One thing that's really neat that Aruba does protect your wildlife. Always observing, never touching. Adventure by land and sea. Your clients can indulge their wild side by windsurfing, kite surfing, or cruising on a catamaran through the clear, gentle turquoise waves, or scuba dive and snorkel along the reefs and shipwrecks below. The warm Southern Caribbean has graced Aruba with world-class water sports. Venture Island and Venture inland, and they'll find even more to experience. Explore the caves and ancient boulders of Arikiko by foot horseback or four-wheel drive vehicles. 
dive headfirst into the tranquil depths of Konichi, a hidden natural pool. It's easy to wander, uh, wander our whole island in search of happy adventures. Water adventure. Visitors can board a catamaran for scenic stops along the coast, opt for snorkeling and diving adventures, or simply relax with a cocktail on a sunset cruise. Those craving more of an adrenaline rush can try the jet leave. Participants don a water propelled jet pack, hover just above the water, or fly up to 30 feet high, exclusive at Red Sail Sports, or propel themselves with an underwater scooter. Nature and Wildlife Adventures. The Arikiko National Park. Here, your clients can view the dramatic landscapes and visitor centers exhibits of Aruba's edemic animals such as the Arubian burrowing uh, owl or the local birds of prey, the warawar and the kiniki, whiptail lizard, Arubian cat eye snake, and endangered rattlesnake. Hiking tours showcase fascinating flora and fauna and interesting historical sites. The Bubali Bird Sanctuary. This is a resting and breeding area for more than 80 species of migrating birds, locating, located within walking distance of the Palm Beach Resort. The observation tower allows bird watchers to get a true bird's eye view. The butterfly farm. Here, visitors can step into a tropical garden teeming with butterflies from around the globe. The donkey sanctuary. Here, the herd of donkeys in their patchwork of coats from gray to deep chocolate brown, floppy ears, and inquisitive personalities enchant visitors. Ostrich adventures. A flock of approximately 80 of the largest living species in the world and their flightless Australian relatives are waiting to meet guests at the Arubian Ostrich Farm. Phillips Animal Garden. Phillips Animal Garden offers interactive and educational tours where visitors can enjoy an up-close and personal experience with over 50 species of exotic animals from around the world. Natural <laughs> Wonders for Adventures. The sand dunes. The unexpected sight of massive sand dunes often intrigues visitors touring the northeast coast. California dunes at Paducibana on the isolated northwestern tip of the island features some of the most spectacular scenery with expansive sand dunes sitting in the views of the old stone lighthouse and a spectacular rock hewn coastline. Cave exploration. Here your clients will enjoy mysterious views of rock drawings and natural uh, nature's artwork of stalagmites and the I can't even say that. <laughs> Underwater. Natural bridges or rock formations. For thousands of years, pounding waves and strong winds have slowly chiseled away at the lime, limestone cliffs, allowing Aruba's north coast to create several natural bridges. For such a relatively flat, sandy island, the presence of the unusual hills and huge monolithic boulders that dot the countryside are truly an enigma. These remarkable geological formations add aesthetics to the landscape and provide excellent vantage points from which to better view the island. And lastly, we have natural pool. On a deserted stretch of coastline, the dramatic shows of water spraying over the rock occur on a regular basis as the tide rushes to the shore. In a unique Unique formation of rock, volcanic stone circles, a small, a small depression, creating a tranquil pool known as Kochi, uh, Cura di Tor Toriga, or the natural pool. Okay, now we have to match each selected natural wonder adventure, natural wonder spot with a feature of it. So we have water surrounded by volcanic stone. That was the natural pool, wasn't it? Yes. Resting and breeding area for more than 80 species. That was the bird sanctuary. 
Like that? different, yes, different, um, different birds, yes. Uh, view rock drawing, staglomites, and staglotites. Those were the caves. Yes. Massive formations on the northeast coast. I think that was the sand dunes. Yeah. Right. And then the last one is the dramatic landscapes, the landscapes, fascinating flora and fauna. I think that was the park. Right. I think so too. Yeah. Does that everyone agree with those? Was it because I can't see? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just remembering. Yeah. Yes. Agree. Okay. Yay. All right. Culture. San Nicholas, the cultural capital of Aruba. You'll be amazed by the artistic beauty on display here. Artists from all over the world, as well as local talents participating in the Aruba Art Fair uh, and left their marks behind on walls and buildings surrounding the town's main street. San Nicholas is about a 30 minute drive from the capital at the southeast end of the island and buses run several times an hour. A morning spent viewing the street art could happily be combined with lunch at the popular Charlie's Bar and a relaxing afternoon on Baby Beach. Aruba. <laughs> I'm Edgar from Aruba. We're Patty and Louis from Montreal. And this is how we do culture in Aruba. I feel like dancing. <laughs> you want to dance? The island has a vibe that keeps everybody moving. Like we say in Canada, that's beauty, eh? <laughs> the melting pot of the Caribbean with over 90 different nationalities living in harmony. The streets come alive with color, with culture, with creativity, with vibrance. One of the things that I love is you take all these elements and you blend them together and then you get something really, really special. This is the oldest structure in Aruba. Let me check it out. From one to ten, what would you say? <laughs> Music is a soundtrack to a Ruben happen. Tell the crowd to call you my brother, man. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. When that video started, it scared me. <laughs> Places of worship. Hopefully there's not too much left. Um, more than 50 churches dot the map of Aruba. Among the most visited is the Chapel of Alta Vista, which means highest view, one of Aruba's most precious landmarks. Because of its high elevation and location, the Alta Vista Church is the view for both the sunrise and sunset. Should be view, uh, should be view excluding tranquility on its dramatic <laughs> Huh? Oh. <laughs> I didn't hear you. Um. As it because of its high elevation and location, the Alta Vista Church is the view for both the sunrise and the sunset. Should be view excluding tranquility on its dramatic setting above the sea. The chapel was the island's first Roman Catholic church built in 1750 and reconstructed in 1953. Sorry, built in 1750, reconstructed in 1953. Lord's Grotto. The Lord's Grotto, named in commemoration of the famous French religious landmark, was created in 1958. A statue of the Virgin Mary weighing more than 1,540 pounds was hoisted into place in the grotto. Every year in February 11th, which is the Feast of the Lords, a, pro a pro procession leaves from St. Teresa's Church in St. Nicholas to the grotto where a mass is performed. Fort Zalmat, the Historical Museum. Fort mm -hmm. Zalman Historical Museum is where many of our guests get their first exposures to Aruba's past. Each Tuesday night, everyone is invited to the fort for our island's welcome party, or as we call it, the Bonbini Festival, from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m., celebrating the island's culture and history. The fort was built in 1798 and is the oldest building in the capital. Archaeological Museum, I'm saying that right, 
historic the historic Ikuri complex in downtown yeah. has been transformed yeah. from a family home to a modern museum yeah. that preserves Aruba's Meridian culture heritage, which uh, with displays of Indian artifacts dating back to the pre-ceramic period of 2500 BC. California. Wonder where it came from. Huh? What, what was that? Sorry, guys, I forgot to mute myself. Oh, okay. California Lighthouse. This landmark provides the most spectacular views of the island's western coastline particularly at sunset. Check availability of, uh, for tours to the top as well as exclusive dinners. Museum of, Antiqui of Antiques, if I'm saying that correct, my gosh. Louis XV Antiques and Curiosities is located on the outskirts of the capital in a beautiful Rocco Plaza building and Taniki Lean Dirt. Oh my God, they're killing me with these words. Visitors are amazed by the roof and the red copper onion shaped towers of the structure that houses 23 showrooms of unique and unusual items from Aruba, the Americas and Europe. Bal Balishi Gold Mill. <laughs> At the tip of the Spanish lagoon, remnants of this once bustling mill are still visible in the picturesque setting near the narrow canyon of rocks known as the Frenchman's Pass. Aruba Aloe Museum and Factory. Visitors can take a tour through the state-of-the-art Aruba Aloe Factory and see the production process firsthand from aloe vera leaf to finished Aruba Aloe lotions. That sounds kind of cool. Wellness. Our happy island is the perfect place to relax and rejuvenate mind, body, and soul. From the calm mangrove lined waters of the Mangale Halto to the gentle lapping waves of Baby Beach, Aruba's beautiful natural wonders offer a secluded, relaxing escape from the world outside. Only here can you wrap your body in soothing Arubian aloe at one of our world-class spas, watch the sun quietly tip into the sea during the twilight yoga session, or simply find peace amongst the cacti and wildlife on an, on an invigorating hike into Aricot. Yoga. Aruba has several yoga centers, centers and many resorts offer beach yoga sessions. A variety of practices are offered, including Venetia, Venetia Flow, Antigua, and even paddleboard yoga on the water, making Aruba your ideal yoga destination. The soft caress of the trade winds and gentle warmth of the Caribbean sun are the perfect complements to a relaxing yoga experience. The One Happy Islands Open Air Yoga Studios, its highly trained instructors, make, instructors make yoga in Aruba a thoroughly rejuvenating and tranquil experience. Culinary. This niche center, this, this niche centers on Aruba's position in the Caribbean's cultural mecca, with world-class restaurants featuring award-winning international chefs, as well as local and regional eateries and cafes seasoned in preparing traditional and authentic ethnic cuisines. As diverse as our population, our culinary scene could possibly be considered one of our hidden gems. Flavors from all over the world can be found on this small island. In Palm Beach in the capital, the high rise strip along Palm Beach boasts more than 100 restaurants, either as part of a resort property or standing alone. The visit the capital and find even more options. Unique dining experiences. A beachfront dining experience is complemented by the soft lights of torches, sugary white sands between your toes, gentle sounds of waves, and a beautiful sunset. Or indulge in a unique dining experience by booking the chef's table at a select restaurants on the island. There are usually no more than 20 seats available and at least five courses to a feast to feast on, each paired with its own wine. Another great way to explore the explore the vast culinary offerings Aruba has to offer is the wine on a is the wine on a down the road tour. Sample signature dishes at four of Aruba's top restaurants prepared by renowned chefs from around the world. 
All featured bites and dishes are inspired by international cuisines, each perfectly paired with fine wines. And then there's resources. You can click on the different types of food. Culinary. Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa boasts eight acres of agricultural land and frequently organized local farmers markets. The farmer's market in Aruba takes place on the first Sunday of every month in the Pedra, Pedra Platte area. Both locals and visitors can enjoy a variety of fresh and organic local produce. Besides all types of local fruits and veggies, herbs and meat, you can also enjoy delicious Arubian fare, such as Kerry Kerry, which is a spiced shredded fish, Caribido Stoba, which is goat stew, and fresh fruit juices and pica, which is a hot sauce. Santa Rosa is home to a variety of small animals, including cows and bulls, chicken, pigs, and all sorts of sizes, and goats and more. It's a fun outing for families with small children. Visitors are able to take a tour of the land and pick their own locally grown fruits and vegetables. Santa Rosa staff can uh, can also explain about their unique eco-friendly operations and water-saving hydro systems. You couldn't you couldn't do it all in one day or, or for like a week. You'd have to like go and go and go yeah. to like just explore. <laughs> yeah. Which of the following statements is or are correct relating to Aruba's culinary offerings? Click and drag into the correct box. All right, so we have in Palm Beach alone, there are more than 100 restaurants. That is yeah. not. Was it Palm, I think it was Palm, is it Palm Beach or is it Palm Beach in the capital? Should we pull oh, it? Oh, yes, yeah, uh, Palm, it's the, with the capital and Palm, Palm Beach. But it says Palm Beach alone. Oh. Palm Beach true. alone doesn't have. It's true, yes. What what it is is um I have to pull into a correct box which ones are correct. Oh okay. Yeah, so I can't I've, see them. I know. Um, so I've got flavors from around the world. I've got award-winning international chefs and toes in sand dining experience. I know the last two, the chefs and the I think toes. all four. I think all four. All I four. think so too. All four. Yes. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> nice job. All right, now it's time for the exam. Aruba's One Happy Honeymoon Program features a free night on a first anniversary stay with the couple when the couple stays for at least how many nights? Seven nights, four nights, or five nights? Five. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. At hotels participating in the One Happy Family Program, kids 12 and under sharing a room with at least one paying adult, stay free and enjoy free daily breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. A Palm Island includes which of the following in the price of a day trip here? Scuba and underwater helmet walks available at an additional charge. So these are the things that we have. A lunch buffet, open bar, snorkel equipment, banana boat rides, water park, beach lounge chairs, or all of the above? All of the above. Among Aruba's unusual natural scenic spots are natural bridges carved by strong winds and pounding waves and huge metholic mytho boulders dotting the countryside. Uh, I think that's true. That is true. Which of the following are among the opportunities to view wildlife in Aruba? The Donkey Sanctuary, Aruba's Ostrich Farm, Phillips Animal Garden, more than 50 species of exotic animals, or all of the above? All of the above. Aruba has more than 50 churches. Which of the following is famous for both its scenic elevated location and its history as the island's first Roman Catholic church? St. Anna Church, 
Lord's Grotto, Chapel of Alta Vista. Isn't it Alta Vista? That's what I was thinking too. I think so too. A welcome party celebrating the island's culture and history is held every Tuesday night at this structure built in 19, uh, 1798. The Archaeological Museum, Fort Zomet, or the Bastille Gold Mill. The first one. The Archaeological Museum? Yes. I'm going with you. I hope you're correct. <laughs> Which of the following boasts eight acres of agricultural land and frequently organizes local farmers markets? Santa Rosa, the capital, or San Nicolas? Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa. Right? I think yeah. it was, yes. The San Nicolas was the, um, the cultural city. Right. The numerous spas in Aruba feature a diverse menu of treatments with half day and full day packages for a full sense of well being. True. That's true. Last question Aruba's culinary tours allows one to sample multiple restaurants in one evening. That was true, right? It, I think so, true. Let's see how we did. Hey. All right. How, how did you pass? We did. Okay, good. Yay. <laughs> all right. Now, if I can just remember all this when I got to do it. <laughs> um, I know that we're way over time right now. Um, I'm gonna. So, I okay. just got an update that I've successfully passed. So is the last one like just an extra thing? Um, I I don't know. I think so, but that's what so, I was thinking. It says acquired. It says then. required, though. Yeah, yeah I pulled up so, those last one, and it says that there's a final exam. There is, okay. Um, do you want me to continue on and finish that? Do we need to check and make sure that nobody else needs the link? Yeah, I know, yeah. I have, I have it open, so hopefully I don't lose it. <clears throat> um, let me get there, a little bit more there, let me get there. I haven't seen anything. We're already into, it's like 3.30. So I would assume if somebody else needed it, they would have popped Needed on. it, that's true. I didn't realize what time it was. Yeah. Um, let me see how long this is. Oh, let's just roll with it. Right. If they want it, they have to wait. <laughs> yeah. I just have to take my son somewhere soon. That's why I'm, I'm crunched for time. Well, this last one, it just looks like it's reviewing all the other videos. It does. Okay. Hey, because I, 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 okay. Now, yeah. do I get to see all that too when I get in there? Yes. Oh, okay. So I can like pass it too. Okay. That's what I was worried about. I'm worried about all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> I well, you know, it. when you do it, go open up, open up this recording and do it as you go along with the recording and then you'll have the answers. Oh, did okay. I, did I have to click on every one of these videos in order to do the final exam? Was that Lisa that was talking? Yeah, I just, I Lisa? Um, no, I didn't say that, but I think so. I was reading it, reading through as you were saying that. I think you do have to go through each because some of them require you to click on the video to keep going. Not the video, but you know, the, okay. you know what I mean? Yeah. So, extra information before you can go forward okay let's see let's see if we can get through this quickly <laughs> all right so where are moment. you guys at because the next thing i'm getting is that romance thing i'm not getting a 
Yeah, that's what shows up for me is the romance one. Okay. Because it said, I got an email that says, congratulations, you have successfully completed a RUBA certified expert program, dash chapter six, click the link below to view and download your certificate. And I didn't get that with any of the others. I didn't even get that yet. That's interesting. But, but yours is all lit up too. Um, actually, Jan, no, it Janet. Just, no, um, actually, I, I did I just it. get that. So the, the, the romance specialist must be something different. All right. All right, you know what I do? I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it for right there. And then um, what I'll do is I'll come back in and I'll record the Aruba Romance Specialist and have Jody um, post it as just like a continuation or or whatever. <laughs> Unless okay. you guys want to go in on your own time and do it. Yeah, I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and, and I didn't know that you had to register. I knew I, I saw it. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to that tomorrow. I didn't know that you had to register for it. And there's like a lot of stuff I didn't know that you have to put in there. It's okay. I'm just gonna stop the sharing for right now. I'm sorry, not the sharing and the recording. Okay. I think hopefully I did record this. Did I record it? Yes, I did. All right.